You're still watching Waze. Now we're going to go straight to you, Maury. What did you find for us in the news? Okay, so Lagos State Governor Babajide Songolu has reviewed the state government's plan on COVID-19 vaccine uh, rollout and the effort to bolster mass vaccination of residents in the state. Mm -hmm. Songolu made the disclosure in a channel television program, Sunday Politics. He said that Lagos is aiming to achieve 60% rollout when the vaccination program commences in the coming weeks, it sort of gave me, um, what do you call this thing, peace of mind to know that at least, even though they're not actively doing something about it currently, they're making good plans towards it. So, yeah, that's what I found on the news for today. Thank you. Well, it's actually very interesting because uh, I'm happy about all of these things. My only worry and my only concern is when this vaccine come you know are we going to be paying for it is it going to be free what exactly is the plan you know because uh, no, they're not we don't know no go ahead please. no because most times government will tell you something is free <laughs> when you get to the office it's a different <laughs> grammar you would you hear and covid19 is not something covid19 i mean covid19 is like malaria right the symptoms are very similar to malaria so i'm thinking why well, maybe that's our conversation for today. So we'll just save it for when we'll have um, um, Dr. Yemisi and we'll just we'll gist about it, you know, because it's just so interesting. If you want to solve a problem, shouldn't you be thinking, you know, how to bring how down... To, yeah. yeah. And how to I'm just wondering, easily accessible. Thank you. Accessibility. That's the word I was looking for. Jennifer, what did you find for us in the news? Okay, so um, headsman crisis. Exercise restraints. The federal government urges... Nigerians. Mm. So basically, um, the federal government has urged Nigerians to exercise restraints following the brewing conflict in the northern regions of Oyo state, as well as the tension in Ondo state. Mm -hmm. So um, this just goes to show that in almost every part of Nigeria, we have security issues. And um, the people in the local areas are really battling with things like this. Um, Raouf, the interior minister of interior mm -hmm. said, I think he tweeted something which they said he deleted later on, but he said something. He said, let us all try to be our brother's keeper and work towards building a peaceful community that works for all, irrespective of ethnicity, religion, and other forms of differences. Mm. And I think that the, the earlier we know that um, when it comes to security issues, it is not... Um, should I say, is not limited or specific to a particular region, religion, or tribe, or, tribe, or something. Yeah. It affects everybody. It affects everybody. The Aousas, the Igbos, the Yorubas, Deltas, Edo's, every tribe in Nigeria. So let's all try to make sure that we protect those around us. And then if you notice anything that is out of place, you should try to um, notify the authorities so that mm. everyone is kept safe. Yeah, that's another conversation we'll, we'll be having in the course of the week, you know, yeah. because it's, I mean, we, we saw the video that went viral of President, former President Obasanjo talking about, you know, if a certain, if, if, um, if something is being ascribed to a certain um, um, tribe, I mean, the reasonable thing for you to do as, as a president, knowing that that is from, because it seems like you're the one giving them, you know, the, the, the yeah, to, to move on. So the only reasonable thing is for you to actually come out and denounce, just like when, um, um, Donald Trump was being asked to to talk to the Proud Boys, you know, instead of telling he said stand stand by or something. Yes, I, I can't I remember know. how he, he quoted, it. you know. So I think it's just important that you know this issue of um, insecurity is beyond. We should take yeah, it and strip that. it where where it should be stripped all the way down. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. So it, another thing that is also brewing is also my story. Um, so uh, El Zazaki, for those that do not know him, I mean, this person has been accused of so many things you know, incite, inciting people in, in the north. It's actually, he has a huge following. So they say his wife um, tested positive for COVID-19 mm. inside the correctional center in, um, um, what's it called, in Kaduna State. And they have been detained in that particular place since 2015. So she was visibly absent from the court because um, they've said with immediate effect, they, they should go ahead and treat the wife of this embattled um, um, leader, you know. So I'm just wondering, I hope uh, she's okay because you know yeah. <laughs> there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot at stake if anything should happen to them in terms of their health. Their you health, know? yeah. They have really really posed a lot of security challenges in within that region, and I hope that 
they treat her well and she recovers, you know, from, from um, COVID-19. I think, um, Mari, do you have anything to add to the conversation or we'll just move on? I honestly feel like until she goes back for my mind will be at, you know, be at peace. Can yeah. Like to get out of this. But this country, I honestly don't really trust them. Yeah, I, I just hope they are able to handle the case well because I'm just afraid for her, you know. If anything should happen, you know, they will say They're it is the, the people that sent them to kill, yeah. you know. Because for me, I don't understand why a case will linger from 2015. Just imagine you being in a place, I mean, from 2015, you know, all the way. This is like how many years? It just goes this will be just, the sixth year. It actually just goes to show how bad the justice system is. Because I don't see any reason why a case should be lingering for that long. Mm. And then when you linger for that long, you make people agitated. So if there is any chance that they get to see that person... Mm. <laughs> if you it's tell me that I committed else. a crime, convict me and convict let everybody person, move yeah, on. Yeah. You know, instead of delaying and delaying and so delaying. Long. Because if anything should happen right now, of course they will point fingers back to the government to say that the government has... You yeah, know, has a hand in you know so that. we just have to be careful when we're dealing with some of these things. All right, so we're going to take a very, very short break now. When we return, we'll be discussing um, COVID-19. Stay with us. We'll be right back.